It's Monday, October 4th, 2021. I'm Jonathan Lau, and this is 5 Minutes of Proof, a weekly analysis of the science behind ozone therapy. Today, we're going to look at an article that comes to us from Turkey. It was published in 2015 in the International Journal of Clinical Experimental Medicine, and it's entitled The Effect of Ozone on Blood Pressure in DOCA Salt-Induced Hypertensive Rats. So let's take a look at how ozone therapy affects blood pressure in hypertensive rats. Uh, We're going to start with a conclusion here in the abstract. It says ozone treatment decreases blood pressure and is effective in preventing the progression of hypertensive disease. The mechanisms which are associated with anti-vasoconstrictor effects through reducing the levels of serum endothelin-1 and ET receptor AMRNA expression in the heart and vascular tissue. So as you're aware, cardiovascular disease is a huge problem. Um, However, you may not have been aware of how ozone therapy could actually affect cardiovascular diseases um, and reduce blood pressure. So ozone, we're aware, is a therapeutic agent for the treatment of a number of disorders. It stimulates the antioxidant response in cardiomyopathy patients. Ozone has been shown to reduce blood pressure in a diabetic population, and ozone exposure may influence autonomic regulation of the heart rate and has been shown to alter circulating inflammatory and fibrinolytic markers in healthy people as well. So there's a number of things that ozone can do to help with these types of conditions. So how did they treat these patients? Well, they used 50 micrograms per milliliter, uh, which is a pretty standard concentration, 1.1 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, and they did it intraperitoneal injections um, for 10 days. Um, So that's what they did. And let's take a look. Um, You'll see a number of charts here, and I want to take a look at the results. Uh, You see these various serum levels, ET-1, Um, And you have different groups. So there's three different groups. We should explain that. Um, Take a look at this chart. You have the C group, which is your control group. That's the white. And then you have this group, uh, which is your hypertensive group uh, that was not treated. And then you thirdly have the hypertensive and ozone group, uh, which were obviously treated with ozone. Um, So you have a variety of charts, and you'll see that the ozone group um, actually did phenomenally well um, in comparison to the hypertensive group and even sometimes the control group, um, which were not infected uh, or or conditioned. Um, So what happened? Well, you have a decrease in different levels, SBP, DPBP, and MAP. in the HO group, which is the ozone group, compared with the other groups. Uh, basically, what this is saying is, is that ozone is reducing these various uh, parameters, the different uh, serums that contribute to high blood pressure. Um, and, and so I, I don't want you to get confused. If you read the rest of this study, they talk a little bit about air pollution and ozone and how that raises blood pressure. We're talking about ozone therapy and, and they make that obvious, I think, as you go through the report. Um, but just don't be confused if you see ozone raising blood pressure. That's true. If we breathe it in, um, that's not good for us. However, when we use it therapeutically, it is good to, for us. They say these results suggest that ozone can be effective in regulating blood pressure, but could not lower to the completely normative level. So keep that in mind. And and over here at the end, we see ozone significantly attenuated DOCA salt hypertension induced increases in serum ET-1 and ETR-A mRNA expression in the heart and vascular tissue. These results suggest that the antihypertensive effects of ozone were associated with increased ETR-B mRNA expression in heart and vascular tissue, leading to the increased levels of serum NO and ozone could be a novel endogenous antihypertension factor. So next time you're seeing a patient that has uh, some sort of hypertensive issues, high blood pressure issues, um, in other words, Ozone may be a go-to tool for you. This has been 5 Minutes of Proof. We're going to see you next week with another installment. Thanks for being here.